Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, along with my clumsy smurf right here, my clumsy smurf doll, and I'm here to do a new movie review this week, and I have it right here, is, <laughs> grab it clumsy, you better not drop it, whoa, whoa, whoa. anyway, the smurfs, yep, this is of course, the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack gift set that I've owned of the Smurfs since 2011 when it first came out. Yeah, this is the one, this was of course the Target exclusive that had Smurfette on here. Along with Papa Smurf, Brainy, Clumsy, which is right here in my hand, and Grouchy. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm going to be reviewing today. So. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm glad he didn't drop it there, but don't worry, I, I, I saved a bunch. But anyway, it stars Neil Patrick Harris on the TV show Doogie Hauser MD, along with How I Met Your Mother, Jama Mays on the TV show Glee, she was also in the movie Pulp Lord Small Cop, Sophia Vergara from the TV show Modern Family, as well as all these other Univision shows she's been on. Hank Arzaria, who winds up doing a lot of voice acting over the years, including the TV show The Simpsons. He has been in other TV shows as well, such as Herman's Head, Huff, you know, and had appeared in many movies too, even Mystery Men. And of course, all the other Smurfs, that includes Keenan Thompson as Greedy Smurf, Jonathan Winters as Papa Smurf, Katy Perry as Smurfette, along with Jeff Foxworthy, Anton Yelchin, who's the voice of Clumsy in this one, uh, George Lopez as Grouchy Smurf, Paul Rubens, and of course many others. And it's directed by Raja Gaznell, who went on to direct the movie Home Alone Free along with Never Been Kissed with Drew Barrymore and of course those crappy Scooby-Doo movies which I didn't care for yeah to say the least but I gotta say I think I'll take the Smurfs over Scooby-Doo movies any day the movie begins when the Smurfs were getting ready for the Blue Moon Festival but Papa Smurf however sees in his cauldron a vision that clumsy smurf which is right here was reaching for the dragon's wand and somehow the smurfs were in cages while gargamel laughs hysterically and captures all the smurfs not wanting for his vision to come true papa smurf refused to allow clumsy to pick the smurfs roots but Clumsy disobeys Papa Smurf and ends up unintentionally leading, leading to Gargamel, of course, played by Hank Arzaria, along with his cat, Arizel, to the village. So then the Smurfs all flee for their lives while Clumsy unknowingly runs towards the Forbidden Falls with Papa Smurf's Murfette, Grouchy, Brainy, and Gutsy running after him. They find him at an edge of the cliff while trying to help him up. They all got sucked into a gigantic vortex that spirits them to a present day New York City. But to make matters worse, Gargamel and Arezzo followed them and the Smurfs winds up in the apartment of Patrick and Grace Winslow, a married couple with their basset hound Elway. After Claire faints up, the Winslows befriends them and allows them to stay in their apartment. But the next day, they needing to find a stargazer, the Smurfs follow Patrick look into his workplace of Angelo's Cosmetics, who is owned, of course, by the boss herself, played by Sofia Vergara, before he calls Grace to pick them up. However, having to extract the Smurfs' essence, from the lock of Smurfette's hair. While Gargamel uh, arrives, you know, after being treated by Patrick's boss, Ardell, and then unfortunately acquires to use his magic to, 
to make her mother even younger, a lot younger than before. So they come up with a new uh, formula. While trying to get back to their own village, they, they had to stop in time to, to stop Bergamel's plan to take over the world, including using the dragon wrong that Clumsy might accidentally use to accidentally capture all of them. And hopefully they'll find a way to stop them before time runs out. Well, I have to admit though, it wasn't a bad movie. I mean, for better or worse, it was probably one of the better movies I've seen so far that year. In fact, a lot better than his last two films that he had directed. You know, the Scooby-Doo movies, that is. Yeah, and those were terrible. I didn't like those movies at all because it just didn't do much for me. I didn't like the fact that they made Scooby-Doo look really awful in CGI. Uh, the characters were totally miscast you know, all the way around. You know. It just didn't do it for me. It was awful. But back to that though, I thought the Smurfs were a whole lot better. You know, they showed all the characters in the movie. I wish they had more screen time, but I guess they knew they had to focus on the remaining Smurfs that we have as we know today. You know, everything from Papa Smurf to Clumsy, from Groucho to Brainy, from Smurfette to Gutsy or Vanity or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I really did enjoy it, you know. I gotta admit, I thought the CGI in this movie didn't look so bad, I mean, compared to many others. I do wish they were animated, I do agree, in its original form, the way they're supposed to be. But I guess, you know, nowadays, today's movies, they always have to have something like this. But I also enjoyed all the cast in this film, including Hank Azaria, you know, playing Gargamel. I thought he did a very good job playing that role. It looks exactly like how the cartoon characters look, you know, the villain. You know, the way he portrays, you know, it actually works. And in fact, one of my favorite scenes in the movie was when when he brought in his cat, Irizel. And by the time, you know, <laughs> By the time that Gargamel got run over by a bus, you know, usually a scene like that's not funny, but in this movie it is. Uh, Ariezo actually screams, Are you dead? Yeah, in his uh, voice. <laughs> that was very funny. Also, uh, Keenan Thompson did the voice of Greedy Smurf, so I was surprised, yeah. He actually made an appearance, but too bad he didn't get enough screen time in the movie. So that was a shame. But there were other casts too as well. And Jonathan Winters, you know, a legendary actor and comedian. I, I have to admit, he did a very good job doing the voice of Papa Smurf. So he was you know, very good. It's a shame about what happened recently that he passed away. In fact, um, he just recently did the second movie you know, before his passing. So yeah, I'm going to get to that later on. But anyway. It's cool. And even even Katy Perry did a good job, you know, doing you know, playing Smurfette. So, and especially when he made that ref especially when she made that reference in the movie. You know, I kissed a Smurf and I liked it. Yeah. It's cute. And there are many others too, including the, the famous song, you know, that they use in all the Smurfs, you know, cartoons and movies and stuff. But this was cool. And, yeah, I, I I didn't think it wasn't so bad at all. I mean, it's not the greatest movie of all time. It's not it's not going to win any awards or anything like that. But I still think it's, you know, worth watching. You know, I, it brought me a smile to my face. I mean, yes, the only thing I would think that was totally unnecessary is adding all these bathroom humor into it, which I agree it's totally unnecessary. We don't want to see that. It was good to see Neil Patrick Harris in this movie. You know, I thought he did okay in this film as well as John Mays and Sofia Vergara from Modern Family, you know, playing the boss of the company. So, so yeah, it was a it was a fun movie. If you love the Smurfs. Whenever you love it or hate it, I think you'll definitely appreciate it. But on the plus side, if you know, if, if 
even if you're a big fan of the Smurfs, just to be fair, you won't be able to enjoy this movie because, you know, it's all CGI animated and everything. But that's okay because you know, I'm sure a lot of fans would enjoy it, even though this is yet another CGI animated film mixed in with live action. Which we kind of get that a lot these days. It sort of has that uh, enchanted feel to it, if you think of it this way. Because, you know, they kind of got the idea of you know, going straight to New York City. Well, I have Clumsy <laughs> you know, joining in, so I, I guess I'm going to get to it. So anyway, I give the Smurfs four stars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you probably do agree with me. Clumsy. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, Clumsy, that's enough.